good morning good afternoon good evening today we are going to discuss another interesting question guys okay i think uh, most of the guys couldn't able to answer this question okay in interview for example the conditions here understand this okay update the multiple records at a time with different conditions for example the input which they have given okay department id 10 20 30 40 50 okay department name is id finance marketing and hr and admin first initially they set it up salary as default salary is 10000 10000 but now they wanted to set it up whenever any employee join at initial salary okay just assume guys okay it's not a real salary okay this is a department id 10 20 30 40 whenever any new person joins this is the standard salary they wanted to set it up just assume don't mind this is like a, we are giving the some default values it department 1 lakh salary finance department 50000 marketing 30000 hr 20000 admin 15000 now we wanted to set it up now if i wanted to do it individually again i have to go ahead and update 10 record then i have to go ahead and i have to give the i have to write it up like this first we will create the table then we will go ahead and we will do the solution first here i have already prepared this script is all will be available in the description if you wanted to practice okay here i am preparing the table okay i am creating a table case update table department id number okay and department name and salary first i am going to let me create the table here you can see we can let's go ahead and create the table we have Okay, let me drop it. Actually, it is already available. Let me drop it. Then we we'll create again. There is a different name already we have used. That particular name I have created now. Okay, once I have created, then let me insert the data as well. Here you can see we are inserting the data. Okay, ten IT twenty finance like that. We are inserting the data and salary we made it as. Default. We made it as default. Now we have inserted five rows. Okay. Select start from. Select start from. Update table. Update table. Now here we can see. Okay. How many records? Five records are there with the default salary. Now conditions. Let's understand this. Okay. Let's understand this. Here. Okay. Here wherever IT department is there. Okay. Wherever ten is there. One lakh twenty is the fifty thousand. Thirty is the thirty thousand. Forty is the twenty thousand. Fifty is the fifteen thousand. Fifteen thousand. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay. Let's first keep that condition. Ten is the one lakh. Okay. Then twenty is the fifteen thousand. Okay. Fifteen thousand. Okay. And thirty is the then department ready thirty thirty thousand thirty thousand. Okay. Then simplicity purpose. Let's see here. Forty, twenty thousand, fifty, fifteen thousand. Forty, twenty thousand. Okay, fifty, fifteen thousand, fifteen thousand. Let's understand now. If I wanted to do it, okay. If you ask me to do it, okay. In general, without giving any solutions, what is the thing? Update. Okay, update. Update table name. Okay, before update, let me commit it. Okay, here. Okay, I have committed. Now update, update table. Okay, if you wanted to update record, update table. Set. Okay, set. What is the thing here? We have to go ahead and we have to set the which one you wanted to set. Set salary you wanted to set it up. Salary you wanted to set it up one lakh where DPT. ID DPT ID equals to ten. Okay, DPT ID equals to ten. DPT ID equals to ten. Now, if I wanted to update it, like that, I have to update it. Okay. Now, if I can go ahead and do this, okay. If I can go ahead and do this, I have updated one lakh. But I wanted to update at a time, at a time. The condition which they have given in interview question, they we we need to update at a time. Every department we need to update at a time. Every department. So the conditions is wherever ten is the department ID, 
1 lakh. Where over 20 is there? 50,000. 30 is there? 30,000. 40, 20,000. And 50, 15,000. Now, how can we deal with it? How can we deal with it? Can we do one thing? Okay, we can write it up conditions. Nothing but if we are going ahead and write it in writing up case condition, right? Nothing but if else condition, right? If department 10 is there, go ahead and write one line. If department 20 is there, write it up 50. If department 30, then write it up 30. If department 40, write up 20,000. If department 50, write it up 15,000. How can we achieve this? Okay. Simply what we can do here. Okay. Let's write it up conditions. Okay. Before updating, okay, before updating, let's write the case statement in select statement, okay. Select, okay, case when, when department ID equals to 10, when department ID equals to 10, okay. Then, instead of writing like this, okay, instead of writing like this, just go ahead and write it up here itself, okay. How we can write it up? Where you are setting salary, okay. Where case, okay, when, department id equals to 10 okay then set the set the set the salary as 1 lakh okay again again we are going to doing the when condition again when condition okay another condition department id equals to department id equals to 20 then go ahead and set it up the 50000 okay again when department id dpt id equals to dpt id equals to 30 then set it up the 30000 30000 when department id equals to equals to 40 okay then go ahead and set it up the 20000 when department id okay department id equals to 50 okay then 15,000. Okay. Else, instead of else, let's go ahead and end it up. Okay. End it up. Now, if I can go ahead and do this, if I can go ahead and run this, okay. What is going to happen? What is going to happen? Let's, let's see here. Okay. One lakh. Here, it has to be 10 department, one lakh, 20 department, 50,000, 30 department, 30,000, 40 department, 40,000. Sorry, 20,000, 50 department, it should update the 15,000. Okay, right now we are seeing the data. We are seeing the data below data. Okay, if I roll back this, okay, if I roll back this, okay, let me roll back. Okay, if I roll back this, even 10,000 as well, department 10 as well, 10,000. Now you can see everything is 10,000. Let's go ahead and execute this. Let's go ahead and execute this. What happened? Five rows updated. Five rows updated. Now, if I can go ahead and do this, select star from select star from table. Okay. What is the thing which is going to happen? Can we see here multiple conditions, multiple records? Okay, multiple conditions which we are applying here. Wherever department ID 10, then one lakh. Wherever department ID 20, this this much. Department ID 30, then 30. 40 means 20. 50 means 15,000. Like that, we can update it. You have to write the query for this solution. Whenever they are giving this kind of question, okay, this kind of question, how can you go ahead and update like this in a single query, in a single query. In general, if you wanted to update it, you have to write five queries. But instead of that, just go ahead and do this way, this way. If you can write it up in update with case statement you can achieve this at a time you can achieve this this is the answer for above question above question update with case statement we have to do that thank you so much guys for listening and liking the content please contact for etl testing or big data testing training below number thank you so much thanks for your support